Hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. I know there are quite a few videos on YouTube going over all of the best 2019 Home Depot Spring Black Friday deals in really great depth, but I wanted to focus on something a little shorter and sweeter and going over my favorite tool brand, and that's Ryobi. So I'm just going to kind of go over some of the deals I think are good deals and skip over the things I don't know too well about or don't think are good deals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so we'll just start here with the Ryobi uh, two-nailer combo kit. That's the 18-gauge, 16-gauge with the 1.3 amp-hour battery and the charger. So 259, not a terrible deal, um, but a decent deal nonetheless here for the offerings. Uh, this 40-volt uh, self-propelled mower with two 5-volt batteries at 538, overpriced, so I'd stay away from that one. Uh, six tool ultimate combo kit, um, not bad tools, but at 199 for brush tools, eh, I think you can still get uh, brushless tools for a little bit more money, and you get way way better tools. Moving down, uh, 16 gauge nailer for 179, not terrible, but uh, I still think the tool combo kit is is the better deal here if you can uh, afford the extra uh, money for it. The 40 uh, volt uh, push mower, so no self propelled uh, feature in this one, with a 5.0 at 250 is a great deal, I think, because um, normally this one does hover at the $300 range, so 50 bucks off puts it uh, pretty competitively with some of the other brand 40 volts uh, lawnmowers I've seen, like especially from Cobalt. Um, I would say it would probably be one of the main competitors, and uh, this is one I've been eyeing personally, so still thinking about getting this one. Uh, as far as the self-propelled mower, a 329 with a 5.0, I think this is a good deal. And I'm not too sure what the main differences are other than the self-propelled and the push. Uh, Motor-wise, runtime, um, I would think they're kind of comparable, but uh, you know, for that price difference, uh, if it's just for the self-propelled feature, I'd, I'd stick with the push mower. So if you have a flat backyard or flat yard in general, uh, I think that's a better deal. Um, this one I was kind of interested in just because it's the the nailer uh, uh, nail gun, so I love it. But uh, with this old old brushed drill, um, that's a no go for me. Don't know too much about these uh, ride around mowers. Probably the best deal uh, of this whole 2019 Spring Black Friday uh, event here is the 15 out 10 inch sliding miter saw, uh, 129. So normally it is 220 or 219. Sometimes it goes down to 200. I think I've seen it for 180. Uh, so at 129, it's probably the uh, lowest price we're going to see maybe until Christmas time. So definitely pick this one up. It's a really good deal. And from the reviews I've seen, four and a half star out of 1,700 reviews, it uh, looks like it's a killer saw. Another option I've been really interested in is this 16-inch uh, 18-volt mower. So it comes with two 4.0s. Uh, the old non-HP batteries uh, for $199. <clears throat> so sometimes you can find these batteries for 80 bucks or even $100 for the pair, and um, so you're almost getting the mower for 100 bucks. So $200, 18-volt uh, mower. I've heard good stuff about this. It even fits some of the larger HP batteries, like the six and the nine amp hour. So you're gonna get crazy runtime with that. So pretty good option here. Um, don't know too much about the brushless chainsaws, but at 150. With the 4.0, I think that's a pretty good deal. <clears throat> the supercharger kit with the old 4.0 and the old 1.5 lithium plus batteries, <clears throat> 129, not a bad deal. Um, but uh, I do remember seeing just uh, maybe a week ago <clears throat> they were offering this supercharger uh, kit with two six O's, I believe, for 160. So that was a way better deal um, for that kit. So. I'm trying to shy away from these older non-HP batteries just because it's older technology when you can get a better performance boost from HP batteries, especially with brushless. But And sometimes, in my personal opinion, I have seen one or two tools get a slight performance boost with HP batteries. So $99, bucks, pretty good deal. Um, even better when it was during Ryobi days last year and you got a free tool. So hopefully we'll see that again sometime soon this year. All right, moving along here. So the... Um, um, this is kind of like their more basic string trimmer uh, and their blower for in the 18 volt line 
with uh, I believe it's a 1.3 or 2.0 battery, excuse me, $69. Uh, $69. That's a pretty good deal. I have the string trimmer myself. I actually bought it used off OfferUp. I love it. Um, it's actually one of the tools I noticed where the HP battery definitely gives it more oomph in the uh, in the motor. So uh, I'm six foot one, so this one is a little short for me, but I, I still like it for my yard. It, it does a great job. So highly recommend this kit. So this is the kit I purchased during Christmas time and uh, I bought it for $229 and you got two free tools and then I know shortly after that it dropped down to $159 with two free tools. So that deal was explosive and one of the best deals you can ever find for Ryobi. So the fact that you don't get two free tools um, isn't great but at $179 if someone's starting off and they really need tools right now this would probably be one of the top kits I would recommend. So. You still get a brushless uh, impact driver, brushless drill driver, brushless seven and a quarter inch circular saw with a 3.0 and power or HP battery and a 2.0. So still a cool kit. <clears throat> uh, one thing I do like is this blower. So this is their brand new uh, 40 volt uh, blower that just came out within the past few weeks, I believe. So that's a great, great deal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, supercharger kit. For all these batteries for 229, um, yeah. I mean, unless you don't plan on getting brushless tools and you just need a, a big, a lot of batteries to kind of get you through the day, this isn't bad. But again, I, I'm just not a fan of these older batteries anymore, especially now with all the HP batteries coming out. And if you look at one of my other videos, I, I talk about the a new, even newer 3.0 battery with uh, new battery cells, the 21700 cell, so something even better than their current HP battery, so that's exciting to see. Uh, tire inflator kit with a battery charger, 65 bucks, not bad. Um, I know during Christmas this was sold for $20 by itself, so with the battery and charger making it a complete kit, not bad. Probably pass on that. Let's go to the next page. Uh, let's see, compressor, generator, 120 for the compressor, eh, it's okay, not too much, <clears throat> not too well versed on that, but I don't think that's a great deal. 90 bucks for the better tire inflator, um, I think this is a good deal. So a battery uh, and complete kit for 90 bucks, so even if someone who is not in the Ryobi line wants to get started, um, or just not interested in re other Ryobi tools and just wants this for as emergency kit for their car, great deal. Uh, this is the brushed belt sander for 129 with a battery mm, no again I'll just stick with brushless <clears throat> stay away from these batteries these are a scam I don't know why Ryobi released these um, 99 bucks and these are not lithium plus batteries they're their old school batteries like the 1.3 slim pack and the 2.0 slim pack so they have less power and they take way longer to charge so this is a scam stay away from these 259 for this kit um, Basically, you get three batteries, non-HP batteries, so, and it looks like the <clears throat> brushless angle grinder, 259, uh, and the LED flashlight, sorry. Uh, this is what what was kind of being sold almost for Christmas time for their uh, combo kit, and you got two free tools for this 259 price before they dropped it down to like 229 and I think to, uh, 159 Uh if the free tools are like the batter or some of the extra batteries of the light and the angle grinder, yeah, I, I don't, I don't recommend it. Um, this guy for sixty bucks at first glance, it looks like a cool deal, but I've I've seen all over Facebook in a couple YouTube videos now, and I personally got this blower or inflator, excuse me, for $7.53 on clearance at a local Home Depot. And I've seen uh, on Facebook groups, um, the Ryobi Rebels group, people were finding this one all over the country for $7.53. So I think this may be discontinued. So this at 60 bucks, again, at face value, it looks like a good deal. But if you can find this for $7.53 and buy a charger kit for maybe 40 bucks, I mean, I mean, that's you're almost there at that price, but yeah, it's it's okay. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Um, I just kind of again wanted to try to keep this as small or short as possible, just focusing on Ryobi, my personal favorite tools. Hopefully, you guys like Ryobi tools, or if you don't know too much about them, uh, let me know. Um, please leave some comments and uh, questions. And again, if you guys have different opinions on what 
uh, I mentioned was a good deal or bad deal, uh, let me know. I, I'm happy to uh, start a discussion and uh, I'll reply back to any and all comments I get. Um, if you guys like it, please uh, please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully, I can come out with some more videos here in the next time, uh, near near future. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.